name announced. Please refrain from using any noisemakers, horns, bells, yells, or any other distractors that are not conducive to maintaining the dignity and grandeur of this event. We ask that you hold your applause and congratulatory yells until after all names have been called so that the next name called can be clearly heard. Your assistance will help provide the very best graduation for each student. Thank you in advance for your cooperation to ensure a dignified graduation ceremony. Sele pide que trate esta ceremonia con el máximo respeto posible. Cada estudiante que se gradúa merece escuchar su nombre cuando es anunciado. Se le pide abstenerse de utilizar cornetas, bocinas de aire, campanas, gritos o cualquier otro objeto o gestos distractores que no sean apropiados para mantener la dignidad y la grandeza de este evento. Le pedimos que contenga sus aplausos y gritos de felicitación hasta después de que todos los nombres hayan sido anunciados. De esa manera y siguiente nombre podrá ser escuchado claramente. Su cooperación nos ayudará a proporcionar es mejor ceremonia de graduación para cada estudiante. Gracias de antemano por su cooperación en garantizar una digna ceremonia de graduación.
Good evening, I'm Joanna Gonzalez, your senior class president. Please stand for the presentation of the colors and remain standing for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Honor the Texas flag. I pledge allegiance to the Texas, one state, under God, one and indivisible. You may be seated. Good evening. My name is Kevondra Green, and I'm the, tw the senior class representative. We ask that you treat this graduation ceremony with the utmost respect. Every graduate deserves to hear his or her name announced. Please refrain from using any noise makers, horns, bells, yells, or any other distractors that are not conducive to maintaining the dignity and grandeur of this event. We ask that you hold your applause and congratulatory yells until after all the names have been called so that the next name can be heard clearly. Your assistance will, put, will help provide the very best graduation for each student. Thank you in advance for your cooperation to ensure a unified graduation ceremony. Bienvenidos. Soy Rodolfo Martínez, vicepresidente. Se le pide que trate esta ceremonia con el máximo respeto posible. Cada estudiante que se gradúe merece escuchar su nombre cuando es anunciado. Se le pide abstenerse de utilizar cornetas, bocinas de aire, campanas, gritos, o cualquier otro objeto o gestos distractores que no sean apropiadas para mantener la dignidad y la grandeza de este evento. Le pedimos que contengan sus aplausos y gritos de felicitación hasta después de que todos los nombres hayan sido anunciados. De esa manera, el siguiente nombre podrá ser escuchado claramente. Su cooperación nos ayudará a proporcionar la mejor ceremonia de gradación para cada estudiante. Gracias de antemano por su cooperación en garantizar una digna ceremonia. Good evening and welcome to the commencement exercises for Siegelville High School. I am Angela West, the principal of Siegelville High School. We are honored that you have chosen to share this very important occasion with us. We ask that each of you behave with dignity and respect. 
Please refrain from applause and comments when students' names are called. Your appropriate behavior will provide a positive experience for all of the graduates. I am Elizabeth Arcega, Senior Class Treasurer. I would like to introduce the other seated on the platform this evening, Ms. Angela West, Principal of Seagoville High School, Mr. Jaime Resendez, Member of the Board of Trustees for District 4, Ms. Sherry Christian, Assistant Superintendent of Student Services, Ms. Tanya Shelton, Interim Executive Director of the Seagoville Feeder, also with us on stage are Michaela Morris, 2018 Valedictorian, Wendy Jimenez, 2018 Salutatorian, Joanna Gonzalez, Senior Class President, Rodolfo Martinez and Sharon Manning, a Senior Class Vice President, Fanny Ruiz, Senior Class Historian, Viviana Cepeda, Senior Class Secretary, and Kevondra Green, Senior Class Representative. Our Seagoville High School Assistant Principals are Ms. Chandria Owens, Ms. Natika Sanders, Mr. Gabriel Guerra, Mr. Derek Enderley, and Ms. Beth Menzies. Our announcer for tonight will be Ms. Anna Moreno Hernandez. Good evening. I am Sharon Manning, Senior Class Vice President. We are pleased to have with us tonight the principals of Seagoville's feeder schools, Ms. Norma Martinez of Seagoville North Elementary, Ms. Tangela Carter of Ebby Holiday Elementary, and Ms. Katrina Allen Gibson of Seagoville Elementary. Representing Seagoville's counselors are Dr. Leon Kilpatrick, Ms. Karen Collins, Ms. Debbie Velo, and Ms. Yolanda Velasquez-Cortez. Also, Ms. Sarah Morgan. I would now like to recognize honors and high honors graduates. If you are graduating with honors or high honors, please stand. At this time, I'd like to recognize the top 10% of the 2018 graduating class of Siegelville High. Please remain standing, top 10%. Congratulations and thank you. You may be seated. At this time, I would like to introduce the student who will graduate as a salutatorian. It is with great pride that I present the salutatorian for the class of 2018, Ms. Wendy Jimenez. Good evening, everyone. My name is Wendy Jimenez, and my speech tonight will be short, if anything, that at least means we get to graduate sooner. Today, I will reminisce with everyone about our years in high school. My four years in, at Seagoville High School was not what I expected it to be. I expected my time to just be filled with studying, making good grades, and getting diploma, and get, going to college. That was my goal. However, I insist, however, and I instead found many great experiences beyond the classroom. I found extraordinary friends who I cherish very much and teachers who teach more than just a mere subject. I found people 
all of us here tonight who can do more than they could ever fathom, even if they, we don't always know it. In high school, I made fond memories, memories of ACT Deck with Harrington, pushing me to do more and crushing me with paperwork. Memories made in guitar class with Dimmar, teaching me how to play multiple instruments. Even Frost jokes about my name don't bother me when I remember the tiring struggles and endearing fascination with economics and political systems. Puente dragged me to do things I never thought I would learn to do and learn to love, like tennis or Spanish honor society. And of course, there's Mr. Michael, who will always throw something from the real world towards me to ponder. Or Miss Morgan, who we stress out so much as she helps us work out our post-college plans, who has helped me so much in what I want to do in life. My friends who know me well know that I value all they are, what they've given me, and how they have shaped my life. We can all sit here tonight and know that there are peers in this room who are unforgettable. But even with these great people we all, that we all hold dear, no one will ever topple the ones who have carried me or push me the farthest, and that is my family. Thank you, Mom, for always making me study during weekends as a child and teaching me how to read and love books. You have constantly taught and loved me and my sisters. And Dad, thank you for being my dad and taking life with me one moment at a time. Today is a momentous occasion that all of our family all of our friends, all of the people who have helped us and are close to us are gathered to celebrate. Today, is, it, it is the success that they are here for. One success before many successes that will come to befall every one of us. Now the word success can mean various things. It can mean the wealth you gather, or glory you may obtain and relish in. It can, it can mean the simple things and com or humble things that can make life worth living. Or, but success is a relative term, one that will change for every person because every person is different. Today we will diverge from this road from which we have walked for four years and it will be our finest hour. We will all usher into the world once more like we did as newborns, but this time without sacrifices we once had. Instead, we will have to crash and fall and rise. It will not be easy because we all know life's not fair. And for that very reason, we will try to make it fair, not just for ourselves, but for others. So today I congratulate all of you for everything you have achieved or will achieve, but also on the things, on the good things from Sinkerville that you will reminisce about one day, and even the bad or tiring things you don't want to retain. I congratulate all of you because whether we like it or not, our experiences here are invaluable and it will help us define the success of our futures. Thank you. At this time, I would like to introduce a student who will graduate as a valedictorian. It is with great pride that I present Ms. Michaela Morris. Hello, I am Michaela Morris, the valedictorian of the class of 2018. I would like to begin by thanking everyone in attendance, all faculty, staff, administrators, parents, and graduates. It's great to be here together this Wednesday evening. I'm so very honored to be given this opportunity to speak to you all. I'm requesting up front that you please laugh at all jokes and clap a lot, because to be honest, I'm quite nervous to be placed in front of a microphone in front of such a large group tonight. 
I first want to take a moment to relive some of the moments we've shared over these past four years. Seniors, let's go back to freshman year. We were all ecstatic that uniforms wasn't a requirement anymore. We wore clothes that we wanted, and soon after, we all regretted them. Next sophomore year, the school realized that not implementing a dress code was not such a good idea. Some of our self-expression went beyond the appropriate boundaries. It was also a year of frequent administration transition. We never knew what new principal we would have. And then good old junior year. I'd say it was a stepping stone year. I'd say we really matured. We learned how to use Quizlet and SparkNotes efficiently. <laughs> and somehow most of us managed to pass Harrington's A-Push class, and we lived to tell about it. And now, and now as we gather here tonight, senior year has also finally come and gone. And it looks like the whole team made it. I'm so excited to see all your faces and wouldn't want to graduate with any other class. During high school, we all had this constant nagging reminder to check Edmodo, and then we all swiped right and pretend we never seen it. Sometimes it felt like we were on a really tight leash sometimes. One example would be having to go through the metal detectors and always turning right. We would have to travel all the way around the school just to get to a class that was right down the hall. But now we get a venture wherever we want and take any path that we desire. We will worry about college, managing money, and learning to cook for ourselves. I challenge you tonight to promise yourself in front of friends and family to make the dreams you have realities. But in this moment, let's put that aside for just a little bit longer and celebrate because we all achieved a milestone tonight. To the people that couldn't be here, whether it's family, friends, or the classmate and or teachers we have lost on our journey to get here, just know they're in our hearts tonight and they'll never be forgotten. For all of our high school lives, we have dreamed about walking across the stage and finally being adults. Now we will make it a reality together. As we turn to the next chapter in our lives, I hope we can all occasionally push the playback button on what we all accomplished and enjoyed about high school and try to remind ourselves not to grow up too fast. I wanna take the time to thank some people specifically tonight. First, let's give it up to all the parents and guardians because we definitely wouldn't have made it without them. We also must acknowledge our teachers because they have been there the whole way, imparting knowledge into us that we will draw from the remainder of our lives. Some individuals I want to point out specifically who has changed not only my life, but the lives of countless of other students are Coach G, Coach Cruz, Ms. Morgan, Mr. Frost, some former teachers, Ms. Alvarado and Ms. Holt. There are many, many more to name, I have learned so much from every single one of these teachers, not just basic knowledge, but advice that can be carried outside of a classroom. We have formed a true family at Seagaville, especially with Mr. Frost's dad jokes and Mr. Chank's sarcastic remarks. As much as I will miss and cherish every experience the school has given me, a bright future lays ahead for all of us, and it, up, it is up to you of what you make out of it. From the bottom of my heart, I hope you all achieve your goals and dreams. It may seem like we're at the tippity top of the mountain, but we're only halfway up. I can't wait to hear about what we all accomplished after high school. Congratulations to the class of 2018. <laughs> now we will have a music selection by Mr. John Tatum.
Good evening. My, I am Viviana Cepeda, Senior Class Secretary. Our speaker this evening, Jaime Descendez, is a U.S. Army combat veteran and an attorney licensed to practice law by the State Bar of Texas and before the U.S. District Court in the Northern District of Texas. He was elected to his first term on the Dallas ISD Board of Trustees in May 2016. Descendez attended and graduated from Dallas ISD schools, including R.C. Buckner and Julius Dorsey Elementary Schools, E.B. Comstock Middle School, and Skyline High School. Today, he represents trustee District 4, which includes 23 schools in Southeast Dallas County and encompasses the same community where he grew up and attended school. The son of Mexican immigrants, Descendez enlisted in the U.S. Army as an engineer before high school graduation and served for eight years, including a year-long tour of duty in Baghdad, Iraq. Resendez notes, the realities of warfare imbued in me a new esteem for life, a passion for education, and awareness of the importance of sacrifice for the sake of a higher purpose. For me, nothing is more gratifying than improving the lives of others in need. Descendez earned his law degree from University of Texas School of Law. Prior to attending law school, he graduated with honors from the University of North Texas at Dallas and Eastville Community College. A fluent Spanish speaker, Descendez is committed to serving his community and is actively involved in a, ver in a variety of organizations and professional associations among the Chambers of Commerce, the Dallas Volunteer Attorney Program, the Dallas Bar Association, and the Dallas Hispanic Bar Association, where he serves as a member of the organization's pro bono committee. He has received numerous awards, medals, and scholarships through his military and educational careers. As a Dallas ISD graduate and the father of a young daughter who attends a district school, Descendez has a vested interest in our school's success and believes this district is primed to become one of the premier urban school districts in the country. Please help me welcome Mr. Jaime Sendes. Thank you so much for that lengthy introduction. I feel like I don't even have to speak anymore. <laughs> Seagullville High School, what's up class of 2018? <laughs> Please give yourselves a round of applause. You really deserve it. And hello to all the dedicated family members, staff, and community members who are sharing in this very special day. Please give yourselves a round of applause, too. So, so my name is Jaime Resendez. I'm a U.S. Army combat veteran. I'm an attorney and a Dallas ISD school board trustee. But most importantly, I'm a graduate of DISD, just like you. And I can't think of a better reason to be back here than to celebrate this great occasion with all of you. Class of 2018, you did it. Congratulations. As you all sit here in your caps and gowns, please know that I'm very proud of each of you. You've been working towards this goal for more than a decade. And through it all, you persevered, you pushed forward. This moment was never promised to any of you. Many of you have overcome incredible odds to be here. You've shattered statistics and stereotypes and what an inspiration you are. I urge you to approach life with the same determination and the same drive. It was not that long ago that I sat where you sit today as a graduate of Dallas ISD, and I stand before you now, proof that you can achieve your dreams. You see, I'm from Pleasant Grove. I grew up off 175 like many of you. My parents are immigrants from Mexico with sixth grade education. I didn't grow up around people with college degrees. But I remember when I was a kid, I hated being broke. I hated not being able to have nice shoes and nice clothes. And I remember when I would watch TV, the people I would see with college degrees like doctors, lawyers, accountants, engineers, they never seemed to be broke. So I thought, you know, in this country, the best thing to try to do is to get an education. So I had to come up with a plan. I didn't have any scholarship money, and my parents didn't have any money. So the plan I developed was to join the military. I was 17 years old when I joined the Army. I hadn't even graduated from Skyline yet, and I ended up serving a total of eight years, including a, a year-long tour of duty in Baghdad. And that's the experience that changed my life. There were people 
dying on the same streets where I was on the same days. It just wasn't me. So I came back to Dallas with a totally different perspective on life. I was 21 years old and I enrolled at Eastfield Community College. I remember sitting in class thinking, I'm in an air conditioned classroom, taking notes and reading a book. I said, I can do this. That's when I became extremely focused on my studies and started reading every single word, every single paragraph, and every single sentence on all my assignments. And I started making A's. I graduated from Eastfield, transferred to UNT Dallas, and ulti ultimately graduated from the University of Texas School of Law. And now I stand before you as an attorney licensed to practice law in state and federal co court. And I'm just like you. But success is not measured by the position you achieve in life. It's measured by the obstacles you overcome while trying to succeed. Today, anything seems possible, but there will be days ahead when nothing seems possible. On those days, you must reach deep within and find the determination to continue on. People who get things done never give up. When they fail, they observe, learn, and get up. They make adjustments, not excuses. The key is to never give up. We all have God-given talents that we can hone and develop. I believe there's greatness in each of you, and I encourage you to never stop pursuing it. Be ambitious about your goals. Be relentless about your success. So class of 2018, go off, spread your wings, continue to shatter stereotypes and statistics, and never forget where you come from and the people that got you here. With that, I'm pleased to award these diplomas, certifying each of you as graduates of the Dallas Independent School District. Congratulations and good luck. As principal of Segalville High, I hereby affirm that each candidate has met all requirements for graduation as determined by the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District, and they are qualified to receive their diplomas, or they are otherwise qualified to participate in this graduation ceremony consistent with the laws of the state of Texas and the Dallas Independent School District. As Assistant Superintendent of Student Services of the Dallas Independent School District, I am pleased to confirm certification of the 2018 graduating class of Siegelville High School. Again, I am pleased to award these diplomas certifying that each of you are graduates of DISD. Thank you. Candidates, please rise and come forward to receive your diplomas. Michaela Morris. Wendy Jimenez. Joanna Gonzalez. Rodolfo Martinez. Sharon Manny. Kevondra Green. Fanny Ruiz. Elizabeth Arciga. Viviana Cepeda. Alexis Nicole Sanchez. Jacqueline Sandoval. Lance Michael Glenn. Felicity Joshine Benson. Aaliyah Faith Evans. 
Katia Siboney Barrera. Charmonique Adrené Cruz. Destiny Hawkins Perkins. Maida Ortega. Amber Renee Hardy. Melanie Dayanira Pargas Muñiz. Randy Aileen Dixon. Edith Alejandra Marquez. Leslie Adriana Zavala. Christopher Soto. Elizabeth Gaspar Trujillo. Hunter William Lay. Alejandra Avila Parra. Caitlin Justine Patulia. Tamara Denise Austin. Elizabeth Grace Hill. Dakota Sky High. Rachel Renee Bain. Maya Christina Price. Erica Adams. Brisa Naraí Agüero Perrales. George Antonio Aguilar. Samantha Victoria Aguilar. Jesus Eliazar Aguilar. Juan Carlos Aldaba. James Monte Allen. Steve Allison. Emily Mary Jane Archaga. Ruth Sampson Ashgray. Maiden Sampson Ashgray. Christian Dre Juan Attaway. Erica Aileen Ayala. Horacio Valderrama Tarairicio. Miguel Angel Baltazar Martinez. Victor Alonso Bañuelos Becerra. Rudy Tereso Barbosa. Alton Barbosa. Mariah Barrientos. Raquel Sulema Barrientos Duran. Samantha Nicole Baylor. Andrew James Beeson. Jocelyn Beltran Aguilar. Carlos Gilberto Bernal. Kenneth Dwayne Black. Xavier Charles Blackman. Adam Bart Lee Braswell. Suhe Guadalupe Briones. Taylor Bribson. Daniel Eugene Brown. Tarnisha Renee Brown. Derek Brownlee. Adrian Deshaun Buckley. Antonio Camacho. Jeanette Campos. Sally Jean Cantero Zamora. Abigail Jasmine Cantu. David Carmona. Jessica Patricia Castañeda Rodolfo. Kimberly Castilleja. Celeste Castillo. Colton Riley Cathy. Sene Caudillo. Alex Josue Cerros. Chase Lee Shapen. Eric Florentino Chavez. Tyler James Coleman. Jacob Alexander Contreras. 
Jeremias Demonte Cooks Jr. Elias Nicolás Cordero Valadez. Lucia Cornejo. Generica Keisha Cosby. Luis Gustavo Crispin. Edgar Eduardo Cruz. Pablo Asbael Cuevas. Emilia Damian. Joseph Michael Dark. Amy Hazel Davila. Cristo Rocio Davila. Jocelyn De La Fuente. Itzel De La Rosa. Norma Lisa De Leon. Brenda Elizabeth Del Rio. Isaías Delgado. Kayla Marie Delmas. Mariko Demario Dixon. Jayla Marquisha Downey. Carlos Jaime Enciña. Emerson Lisandro Erazo. Gabriela Espinosa. Mariela Esqueda Ibarra. Shandela Feldy Miller. Anthony Gallardo Medina. Carlos Francisco Garcia. Misael Garcia Martinez. Edgar Reynaldo Garza Escobar. John Charles Gibson. Giselle Anaí Giron. Osman Orlando Gomez. Asaf Gonzalez. Jacob Guadalupe Gonzalez. Nicholas O'Neill Green. Refugio, Refugio Guerrero. Gabriel Luis Guevara. Talia Marie Gutierrez. Abel German Gutierrez. Evelyn Gutierrez Vasquez. Cornette Chappelle Harden. Daryl Quinn Andre Harrison. Jacorian O'Brien Hatton. Ashlyn Faye Henderson. Cody Lynn Henderson. Carlos Daniel Hernandez. Daniel Joseph Hernandez. Genesis Marilu Hernandez. Juan Alonso Hernandez. Luz Elena Hernandez. Sydney Levi Hernandez. Tanya Stephanie Hernandez. Yaira Unice Hernandez. Jennifer Hernandez Lara. Stephanie Herrera. Jeffrey James Hicks. Chastity Patrell Hightower. Matthew Allen Holloman. Bryce Wayne Hoop. Jeremiah Ray Hopper. LaJanae Jackson. Noah Jalen Jefferson. Jose Alfredo Jimenez. Keodric Quintrell Johnson. LaShondre Deshaun Johnson. Zakia Taishe Johnson. Kaylin Elizabeth Evans. Melissa Flores Rodriguez. Angel Jones. Jessica Juarez. 
Erin Cornelius King. Marquise Deshaun Kenny. Martha Res sorry, Martha Resmi Corbet. Brian Lara. Stephanie Lara. Marcus Lamont Law. Mercedes Lewis. Daniel Lopez. Fatima Garcia Lopez. Marco Antonio Machuca Vega. Mark Anthony Macias. Gabrielle Renee Marie Mahoney. Lindsay Carol Mangum. Diego Ernesto Manriquez. Eric Manriquez. Chiara Vanessa Maradiaga Rivera. Berta Marin. Trayvon Detrill Marshall. Ana Judith Martinez. Daniel Martinez. Joanny Martinez Gutierrez. Armando Mata. Tanya Mata del Toro. Guadalupe Mayo. Kaylee Rianne Mefford. Michael Anthony Merrick. Yesenia Mesa. Isabel Estrella Miranda. Brisa Giselle Miranda Morales. Adriana Molinar. Danielle Jaquez Moore. Jacqueline Morales. Oscar Daniel Moreno Arias. Brianna Alexandra Munoz. Abriana Alyssa Nava. Juan Antonio Nevarez. Trey Devon Nicholson. Donna Jo Nisbet. Chancy Donovan Olmsted. Evelyn Diana Orduño. Angel Josue Ornella Salcedo. Catherine Michelle Ortiz Rubio. Beatriz Ortiz. Daniel Ortiz Ariaga. Giselle Amaya Palomares. Anaí Maria Pelayo. Luis Enrique Peña. Luis Sebastián Perez. Grace Leanne Pierce. Chase Anthony Playo. Cameron Thomas Palasic. Star Marie Pyle. Oscar Jonathan Quesada. Cindy Quiñones. Fernando Alexis Ramirez. Michelle Ramirez Marquez. Miguel Angel Ramos Ibarra. Juan Resendiz. Laura Karen Reina. Noemi Reina Vega. Anthony Rivera. Guadalupe Rizzo Martinez. Jose Manuel Rizzo. Christian Misael Rodriguez. Cristina Rodriguez. Eduardo, Eduardo Rodriguez. Fabian Agustin Rodriguez. Jasmine Alexis Rodriguez. Ricardo Rodriguez. Diana Rodriguez. Nancy Rodriguez. 
Emily Veronica Rodriguez. Carolina Jesenia Romero. Monraylin Lamont Rowlett. Monica Cecilia Cruz. Erwin Francisco Salazar. Joshua Wayne Samples. Alexis Sanchez. Camila Isabel Sanchez. Jasmine Araceli Sandoval Galvan. Yesenia Montserrat Sandoval. Elian Santillan. Jennifer Segovia Morales. Dylan Andrew Spurl. Edgar Tapia. Christopher Ryland Taylor. Kiana Cheyenne Nicole Thomas. To Cameron Thompson. Danisha Nicole Thompson. Daniel Trejo. Emily Beatriz Urias. Amber Rose Urutia. Abigail, Abigail Yaneli Valdez. Jeremiah Valles. Carly Ray Vance. Mike Viera. Christian Alexander Villagomez. Isabel Villanueva. Brianna Janae Walls. Kaylin Ware. Clifton Washington Jr. Tatiana Alexis West. Taylor Don Williams. Jada Martinique Wilson. Shagavion Monet Wilson. Deatrin Jalen Wingham. Kyla LaShawn Woods. Andrea Samarripa. James Taylor Cepeda. Alexis De Jesus Zuniga Torres. <laughs> Leslie Michelle Villanueva. Will the class of 2018 please stand and remain standing for the alma mater.
The words can be found on the back of your program. And now, I hereby declare you 2018 graduates of Seagullville High School. Please move your tassel from the right to the left side of your cap to signify your graduation. Hello, I'm Fanny Ruiz, Senior Class Historian. Before we close this evening's ceremony, I'd like to take this last opportunity to pay our respects to the students who could not make it with us today, Dentrell Lee and Jose Monterosa. I'd also like to say congratulations to the graduates, family, and friends who have helped us arrive at this moment. As graduates, do not think that the learning stops here. As young adults, new challenges are at hand. You'll have to learn how to face hardships in your jobs, family, and social life. You'll have to better understand yourselves and achieve fantastic things doing so. I wish you all the best, and again, congratulations to the class of 2018.
Thank you.